2018, please stand as we pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, councilors and guests as well. Uh, Councilor Monaghan did notify me uh, mid-afternoon, indicated he did not think he'd be able to make it this evening because of work uh, duties. I know Councilor Sullivan is uh, going to be just a few minutes late, uh, just a family obligation, but he said he would be uh, present. So with that being said, um, Mr. Clerk. We have the acceptance of the minutes of May 14, 2018, City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of David Tixera, 31 North Manchester Street, Brockton, the Brockton License Commission for a three-year term. Referred to Committee on Finance. Appointment of Phyllis Ellis of 273 West Chestnut Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Library Board of Trustees to serve the unexpired term of Jean Bradley to Court. Referred to Committee on Finance. Appointments of Lisa O'Donnell, 30 Rock Metal Drive, Brockton, to the Brockton Library Board of Trustees for a three-year term. Okay. Referred to the Committee on Finance. We have the hearings. We have the petition of Ralph Garcia, 294 Front Street, Apartment 16, Woonsocket, Rhode Island, for a license to solicit in canvas on behalf of Revised Energy, local address 5 South Summer Street, Havel, Mass. So, uh, Councilor Powell. Point of inquiry on the yes. various hearings that are going to be held. Do we have a uh, Corey report back on each of these uh, gentlemen? What is that now? Do we have a Corey report back, the criminal offender record information check that I, I presume they would sign a voluntarily? Under, under this solicitor and canvassing, if you're asking yet, they did go to the police department. The police department did uh, come back stating that there was no problem with these gentlemen. Now, if you're asking for an actual report, I don't believe we have that on file. Well, I've been on that paper. Have, have the just the uh, to, to the, uh, well, we're not at the hearing yet. To the president, have we traditionally just allowed a statement from the police saying everything's fine, or have we actually had something in the file? I, I think in the past we've always maintained the, the, in the past with, with the file. Been just as I explained to you now, that once we get the report from the police department, that their uh, their process has been taken care of, then it comes before the council. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, time having arriving. Uh, time having arrived. I declare the hearing open. Um, if there's anybody, first gentleman. Excuse me. I should say first gentleman needs to come down. Was the, uh, is it uh, Ralph? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Did we read the name? You read the name, yeah. Yeah, Garcia. Uh, for whatever reason, we don't have a we don't have a podium up front. I apologize for that. Thank you. Okay. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm just going to open up the hearing. So I declare the hearing open at this time, and anyone wishes to speak in favor, which would be yourself, I'd, I'd uh, ask you to state your name and address to the uh, to the clerk. Uh, my name is Ralph Garcia. I live uh, 801 Matthew Court, Braintree, Mass. Very good. Anything you'd like to say while you're in front of us here this evening? Um, Any comment? Yeah, what I do when I canvass, um, it's a program that uh, a lot of people take advantage of uh, since they are entitled to just paying for it in the uh, National Grid or Eversource bill. Uh, this is a program that will help a lot of people in the community uh, save money tremendously uh, in the energy bill. Um, great program to take advantage of. Okay, very good. Uh, Council Cruz. Thank you. Uh, two questions. Is this a mass save program? Yes, sir. And so you'll go out and solicit and canvas to set up energy audits? Yes, sir. And can you give me your address again? Uh, 801 Matthew Court. Okay, that's not the address that's on our paperwork. Have you recently moved? Or? Uh, I moved uh, four months ago, five months ago. Yeah, correct, because on our report oh, we the have question, the... the question would be, what address did you put on your application? Is uh, it 90, 294 Front Street? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, and that's why it's listed that way on this agenda. All right. Okay. Um, and how long you been doing? Have you been doing this in other towns? Um, about five or six months, approximately. Okay. And Revised Energy is a subcontractor of MassSave. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank Speaker. you, uh, Councilor. 
Anybody else uh, that wishes to speak in favor, please come forth and state your name and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition that wishes to say anything, please come forward. I declare the, the hearing closed. Council Fowl. Council Fowl. I was just going to ask a general question. Is there a uniform one? Is there uh, something? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, okay. I can't miss, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I canvassed a little earlier today because I had an appointment, so huh. I'm not wearing my shirt. And, my and does the company have an ID card, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Mr. Uh, President. Mr. Thank Chairman. you, Council. Actually, Council Cruz. I do have a question actually for our, for our uh, city clerk. I believe once they're approved by us, they, they get a they have to have an ID that says they've been approved by. They go back and they have to meet the requirements of the police department. If they have an ID, they also should have the identification on vehicles. They have to let the department know if they're going to be in any area after 6 o'clock at night. There are all of these rules that they should be familiar with because they've been uh, told about them and they're also in writing on their application. Thank you. And I mostly wanted the people at home to understand that there's, there's rules that go with this and that, that they have to have those IDs on. In fact, this weekend I had somebody knock on my door selling trying to sell roofs because he was working on the street and I told him he could not, he, did, he mm. said he had a state license. I said, we do, that doesn't matter, you have to get a city of Brockton solicitor's license. So I assume these gentlemen are familiar with those, with those rules, so the, thank you. The rules also indicate that this is not a forceful type of uh, solicitation. Correct. Once you, uh, you know, if people are not interested in your product, then that's it, you don't stand there and beat them the door or try to beat them into submission. So uh, they understand that. Thank you. Okay. Do we have a move to approve? Move to approve. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to approve. All in favor? Opposed? So approved. We have uh, James Allen of 21 Madison Street, Medford, Mass. For a license to solicit in canvas on behalf of Revised Energy, local address, 5 South Summer Street, Haverhill, Mass. Time had arrived. I declare the hearing open. Uh, the gentleman please come forward and state his name and address to the clerk. James Allen, 21 Madison Street, Unit 2, Medford, Massachusetts. Anything you'd like to say as well? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> okay, that makes it. <laughs> Councilor Cruz. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been with the Revised Revise Energy Company since November, and I've been um, canvassing since um, about a year and a half ago. And actually, what towns have you been canvassing in for the last year and a half or so? Sure. Um, Newton, Massachusetts, uh, Waltham for the last uh, few months, um, Medford, um, blood off the top, I can't yeah, get a lot that's, of that's, that's fine. Just want to know where you've been. <laughs> for sure. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, Council. Anyone else here that uh, wants to speak in favor, please come forward and state the name and address to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition? I declare that part of the uh, hearing closed. Councilors, need a motion? motion Motion's been made and seconded to recommend favorably. All in favor? Opposed? Recommended favorably. Thank you. Good luck. Petitioner Bruce Ames of 425 Diamond Hill Drive, <coughs> second, Woonsocket, Rhode Island, for a license to solicit a canvas on behalf of Revised Energy, local address 5 South Summer Street, Haverhill, Mass. Time has arrived to clear the hearing open. State your name and address to the clerk. My name is Bruce Richard Ames III. I live on 425 Diamond Hill Road in One Socket, Rhode Island. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? I have nothing. Seeing none. Any Councilor Azak? Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. Do you have any literature that you leave with? Um, we do. Residents? We have trifolds. We have cards with our business name and number on them for each of our individuals. We have a bunch of information that follows up with it, either from little things to bigger bookmarks to trifolds to actual pieces of paper that let them know what they're getting into. Very good. And um, the other question is, is, do you canvas every home or do you have a list that you go by? We have a map that we're given daily and we have to cover our area of the map. So we just work street by street and cover all house the area. House by house. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Thank you Council. Anyone else who wants to be heard in favor, please come forward. State your council crews. Yes. How long have you been doing this? I've been in the canvassing for over five years. Okay. I just started with them maybe five months ago, but I've been doing it with another company for longer. Who were you with before? Right. I was with uh, Moonworks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Council. Anyone else here who wants to be heard in favor? 
That part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition, please come forward and state their name, address to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that hearing closed. Recommend Motion been made and second to recommend favorably. All in favor? Opposed? Goes back to the full city council. Favor recommendation. Thank you and good luck. Petition of Dan Hull of 66 Patton Road, Moonsocket, Rhode Island, for license to solicit a canvas on behalf of Revised Energy, local address 5 South Summers Street, Haverhill, Mass. Time had arrived to clear the hearing open. State your name and an address to the clerk, if you would, please. Uh, how's it going? This is Daniel Hull, uh, 66 Patton Road, Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Very good. Anything else you'd like to say? Or? Um, well, what you guys said before was, um, you know, it is something that we're not going to push on you. This is a program that you already pay for in your bill, so it's no cost to take advantage of it. You know, and when a customer says, you know, they're not interested, we're not pushy, we're not trying to sell you anything. It is something you're paying for on the bill, so. Very good. Anyone else uh, here wants to be heard in favor of Councilor Cruz? Just how long have you been doing it? Uh, for about four years now. Uh, I used to work with Moonworks at Bruce, with, with Bruce, and uh, I've been with Revise sir, for about a year now, a little under a year. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Council, Councilor Razak. Thank you, Mr. President. Can you give us a timeline when you will be starting so residents at home can have an idea that that are watching, um, you know, that it's your company that's yeah. um, going to their doors? Yeah, um, usually, I, I live in Woonsocket, so I, Rhode Island, I usually leave around 9.30. We get out there for around 10, 10.30. Um, usually from 10.30 to probably 4, 4 the latest, um, all depends. Usually it takes about 2 to 3 hours to get our quota, so. And do you have a set time within the next, um, I mean, few months? Is it the next year? At what time are you giving Brockton that you will be canvassing? The like for the amount of time? Um, it mm -hmm. all depends on when we finish our maps. Okay. But it could take a couple months maybe. I'm not, okay. I'm not too sure. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Councilor. Anybody else that wants to be heard in favor of, please come forward. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Anybody in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Second. Motion been made and second to recommend favorably. All in favor? Opposed? Recommend it favorably to the full city council. Thank you, uh, thank you, gentlemen, and um, you know, good luck and enjoy and be safe. Uh, <clears throat> point of information for the council, as these gentlemen know, that although they work for one company, these licenses are based on individuals, so that if they're sick or they no longer work there, these licenses cannot be transferred to another individual. Okay, so I just to make that point clear. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. We have the report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of May 15, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Court Ordinance Committee for its meeting of May 21, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 21, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor submitting a letter of resignation from John DeAndre from the position of City Real Estate Custodian. Uh, just a correction, just a um, correction to be made. On that particular item, if I might, uh, the last name was spelled incorrectly. It should be uh, A-N-D-R-A-D-E, not what is there. And it's also from uh, the Brockton License Commission, not the City Real Estate Custodian. Right. And that is a Scribner's That's error. a Scribner's error, yes. From the Assistant City Auditor certifying the balance <coughs> and the ambulance receipts reserve for <coughs> appropriation of May 18, 2018, $455,919.28. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting transfer from the ambulance receipts account in the amount of $19,000 for the Department of Equipment. $10,000 will be used to hire a restoration company to clean contaminants from fire alarm due to a manhole fire on Pleasant Street. $9,000. <coughs> to hire a third party to perform quality improvements in auditing emergency medical dispatch system. Mass CMR requires that 7 to 10 percent of emergency medical call be audited. Balance is of May 16, 2018, $403,835.95. These funds are restricted for usage for communication and emergency response expenses incurred by the Brockton Fire Department under the ambulance a contract. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city auditor certifying the balance <coughs> in the account of Comcast ca uh, cable revolving fund 
as of May 17, 2018, is $1,122,047.64. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the city auditor certifying as of May 8, 2018, the balance and account <clears throat> for vacant and abandoned building revolving fund is $863,737.52. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the superintendent of buildings requesting that the city council reauthorize the revolving funds for the fiscal 2019 vacant and abandoned abandoned building account. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the Accepted same. and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the city auditor certifying as of May 8, 2018, the balance and account <clears> of <throat> demolition revolving fund is $166,175.63. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the superintendent of buildings requesting that the city council reauthorize the revolving Funds for the fiscal 2019 revolving demolition account. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city auditor certifying as of May 8, 2018, the balance in the account for parking meter fees reserve is $652,150.40. Parking authority reserve five hundred eighty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-three dollars and eight cents. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the executive director of the Brockton Parking <clears> Authority <throat> requesting a renewal parking authority revolving fund for fiscal 2019 of the revolving fund for revenues from parking violation fines up to and including the amount of two hundred fifty thousand dollars in order to pay expenses of authorities parking enforcement program for fiscal. The year 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 requesting that the City Council substitute this communication for the total transfer of $32,789 to snow removal costs of the Parking Authority so that proper action can be taken. The order was heard and referred to finance on May 14, 2018, and City Council meeting and heard in finance May 21, 2018. Accepted in place. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. The wording appropriation was an error in form, and the request is, in fact, a transfer in the amount of $32,789 from the Parking Authority, personal services other than overtime, full time, $14,600. Parking Authority personal services other than overtime, part time, $8,100. Parking Authority ordinary maintenance, buildings and grounds, $10,089. To snow removal, $32,789. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an order that the City Council hereby declares the City owned parcel, assesses parcel ID 021 059 as surplus and available for disposition. And further, that the City Council authorize the Mayor to execute the transfer of the sur surplus property and to take other actions as necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. In Council, February 26, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Real Estate, that report was favorable. The questions on adoption by roll call vote, uh, uh, Mr. Sullivan. Just, uh, Mr. Sullivan. First of all, I want to apologize for being uh, patati. I had a baseball game I was coaching, but on 34, unlike 35, it actually um, does not state the actual address. Do we know where that, that property is located? On, 30, uh, on 34, I, it, it just I says the it's a, I believe it's a, I believe it's the same address, if I'm not mistaken. So it's on West Chestnut it's Street? It's on West Chestnut Street. Both are West Chestnut Thank Street. Thank you, Mr. Correct. President. Yes. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Order that the City Council hereby declare the city owned parcel at or near 59 West Chestnut mm -mm. Street, assesses parcel ID 021 007 as surplus and available for disposition. 
and further that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the transfer of the surplus property and to take other action as necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. In Council, February 26, 2018, Renner referred to the Santa Committee on Real Estate. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yeah. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenney Permanent? The order is adopted. Ordered that the City Council hereby declare the city owned parcel. Assessor's parcel ID 021-034 as surplus and available for disposition. And further that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the transfer of the surplus property and to take other action as necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. In Council, February 26, 2018, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Real Estate. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenemy Affirmative? The order is adopted. Ordered pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A, City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditure of the total grant award in the amount of $381,350.64 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Transportation, to City of Brockton Planning Department, Mass Dot Main Street Grant Fund. The grant will fund for work towards restoring two-way traffic to downtown Brockton. These downtown improvements support the city's recent downtown redevelopments and proposed new developments. In Council, May 14, 2018, running for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, Council of Fowl. On the motion, I, I am going to vote for this, however, if we find, as a result of doing this work, that we're looking at another six, seven, eight million dollars to go to two-way traffic downtown, this council has really got to study that very carefully. That's a sizable amount of money, and I would certainly want to know from people throughout the community, and especially in the downtown area, that they favor that type of an expenditure. So thank you for letting me clarify my position. No problem, council. Thank you. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Yeah. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenemy Affirmative? The order is adopted. An appropriation of the total grant award in the amount of $25,231.32 from the Commonwealth of Mass Attorney General's Office, Detectives Division, 2016 Community Policing Services Anti-Heroin Task Force Grant Award to the City of Brock Police Department, 2016 Community Policing Services Anti-Heroin Task Force Program Grant Award Fund. In Council, May 14, 2018, Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Dean Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Yeah. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenemy Affirmative? The order is adopted. We have an appropriation from the Personnel Employment Benefits Administration, <clears throat> $800,000 from Personal uh, Employment Benefit Administration to school non-net spending, $500,000. The Stabilization Fund, $300,000. In Council, May 14, 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. And the questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Dean Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Yeah. Lally? Yes. Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenemy Affirmative? The order is adopted. We have a transfer of $200,000 from the Treasurer's Debt Interest Short Term Notes mm -hmm. to the Treasurer's Medicare Tax in order to cover the expected shortfall due to contract settlements and overtime through the remainder of the fiscal year. In Council, May 14, 2018, reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. 
Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenemy Affirmative? The order is adopted. We have a transfer of $32,789 from personal services other than overtime, full-time $14,600, personal services other than overtime, part-time $8,100, ordinary maintenance, building and grounds $10,089, to snow removal $32,789. This is favorable with the stipulations in Council May 14, 2018. Refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable, as I said, with stipulations that the mayor submit a new order with correct wording, that it is being transferred, not appropriated. New order with corrections was submitted to clerk's office May 22nd, 2018. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Asak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Tenant affirmative? The order is adopted. I resolve to invite several members of the local clergy, including <coughs> Dr. Mark T. Oliver and Pastor Richard Reed, to come before the committee of this council to discuss their concerns with the sale of recreational cannabis in the city of Brockton and council May 14, 2018. Brandon referred to the Santa Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Resolved that Mary Arcadi, Senior Associate of the Edward J. Collins Center for Public Management at the University of Mass, Boston McCormick Graduate School of Policy and Global Studies, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to present the findings of a human resources review. And council, May 14, 2018. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAP? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrenport? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten to be permanent? The, the order is adopted. Order in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state primary will be held on Tuesday, September 4th, 2018, in designated polling places. Refer to finance. Order that pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53 and one half E, the City Council authorizes reauthorization of Comcast revolving fund for the fiscal year 2019 from the cash receipts from Comcast franchise fees in excess of $675,000 pursuant to the cable license contract, and further that the expenditures from this fund shall not exceed $750,000 without further appropriation during fiscal year 2019. Referred to finance. Order that pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half, City Council authorizes the reauthorization of the vacant and abandoned building revolving fund for the purpose of maintaining the abandoned building registry, as well as the closing, voting up, and care of vacant and abandoned buildings, provided that no more than $250,000 may be so expended without <coughs> further appropriations from the vacant and abandoned buildings revolving fund fiscal during fiscal 19. Referred to finance. Ordered that pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half, City Council authorizes the reauthorization of the demolition revolving fund for fiscal 2019 for the sole purposes of helping to fund the costs in connection with the demolition of buildings in the city of Brockton, provided that not more than $110,000 may be so expended from the demolition revolving fund during fiscal 2019. Referred to finance. Ordered that pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53, AM 1 half, City Council authorizes the reauthorization of Parking Authority Revolving Fund for fiscal 2019 to receive revenues from parking violation fines up to and including the amount of $250,000. Said funds to be expended by the Parking Authority to pay expenses of parking regulation, enforcement, repair, maintenance of laws, facilities, equipment, and capital project. But expenditures for capital project shall require the written approval of both the Parking Authority Board of Directors and the Mayor for fiscal 2019. 
amounts in excess of $250,000 shall be credited to the general fund. Referred to finance. Transferring the amount of $19,000 from the ambulance receipt account in the amount of $19,000 to the department equipment. $10,000 will be used to provide funding for decontamination and cleaning the firearm due to a manhole fire on Pleasant Street, $9,000 to perform quality improvements and for auditing services for emergency medical dispatch system in compliance with the mass regulations. Mr. President. Councilor Cruz. Due to the Motion has been made and seconded that we take uh, take this under suspension of the rules and act on this this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? We will do that. I know the chief is here if he wishes um, to make a comment in regards to it. Good evening, counselors. So these two uh, expenditures, like the counselor Cruz had mentioned, we're trying to get these done before the end of June. That's the reason I'm here tonight. Um, the first one is uh, in regards to the underground manhole fire that we had back in February. Um, I will let you know that the law department is pursuing this through their insurance company. It was the, the um, company redoing the standard modern print building. Um, they were installing a, a plexi, I'm sorry, a plastic fence, drilling down one of the fence holes. They hit a, uh, an electrical line. We were told that it was hit probably a week to 10 days before the fire broke out out in the street. So it was nicked. Um, the line was probably arcing, like I said, for probably a week to 10 days. Um, when the fire did occur out on Pleasant Street, there are several conduits that make their way into the fire alarm office. So the smoke and, and sediment made its way through those conduits and affecting uh, mainly the first floor of my fire alarm building, but it also did affect the second floor. Um, so we've been trying to get that cleaned up um, and like I said, because the insurance money is, is, hasn't come through yet, we're hoping to get this done with this ambulance money. And if and when, hopefully, we get that money from the insurance company, it will go back into the general fund. That's that 10000 The 9000 is for a regulation that we're under now that we have to audit between 10 and 10, I'm sorry, 7 and 10 percent of our medical calls have to be audited now. Um, at the time, it's being done by Deputy Chief Galleon himself, but we're finding that it's very time consuming, so we're hoping basically to sub that out. So that's what these two expenditures are, are for. Motion to recommend favorably. Second. Motion has been made and seconded uh, to recommend favorably. All in favor? Opposed? So approved. Thank you, Councilors. Motion for Motion been made and seconded for reconsideration. Um, yeah. Motion Right, okay. Roll call vote, Madam Clerk. Please call the roll. ASAP? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Davenport? Yes. Dean Aries? Yes. Bawa? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Kennedy Affirmative? The order is adopted. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor, reconsideration. All opposed, reconsideration fails. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Resolved that the mayor, police chief, and its police union representatives appear before the finance committee to discuss providing on-person tourniquet and holder to every police officer within the city. Refer to the committee on finance. All these items on the agenda are available in their entirety for review in the city clerk's office for all interested parties. I need a motion to accept two late files. So move. Motion made and seconded to accept two late files. One. Four, I'm sorry, four late files. So I'll move again. We moved it four times already. <laughs> yeah. All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk. The first late file was communication for the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, proposing an ordinance amending the city personnel department statute in accordance with the recommendations provided in the Collins Center report. An ordinance amending Article 5, Departments, Division 7, Departments of Personnel, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. The title of the ordinance, Department of Personnel, shall be replaced with Department of Human Resources. We have the appointment of Martin S. Brophy to the position of Treasurer Tax Collector for the City of Brockton for a term of three years. We have the appointment of John O'Donnell as the chairman of the Board of Assessors for a term of three years. That, 
uh, on all of them. The first one's going to go to ordinance department, the ordinance department, ordinance committee, right. and then the other two will go to our next finance meeting in August because we still have a we will have August and June we'll have a, a regular finance meeting. So those two appointments will go there. Mm -hmm. So there's only three of them, right? Is that actually three? Yeah. Actually three. Okay. So that's all we have for late files. Anyone else have anything else for late files or anything? Um, that's because they weren't advertised correctly, so that's that'll be held in June. Okay, those items there. What's the question on? Which are any clarification? The two items that I spoke to you about that, that oh, didn't make the area? agenda. Yeah. Yeah, there, there wasn't enough time to advertise them. Right. So, so the, they could be heard at this meeting. They'll be heard. They'll be heard at the uh, at our June council meeting. Um, Councilor Castro, I know you want to have a moment of personal privilege. You, You're welcome, Mr. President. Good evening. In a few weeks, the Old Colony Elder Services is teaming up with the Brockton Council on Aging to raise awareness about elder abuse. On Thursday, June 14th, a march against elder abuse will take place in downtown Brockton. At 12 noon, rain or shine, participants will march up Main Street heading north from the Council on Aging building at the corner of Main Street and Father Kenny Way to the Old Colony Elder Services offices at 145 Main Street, then march back to the Council on Aging for speeches, awards, and refreshments. City activist Lynn Smith, who also serves as development manager at Old Colony Elder Services, tells me that during fiscal year 2017, 30,000 cases of elder abuse were reported in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And wrap your arms around this. 60% of reported cases of elder abuse involved a family member as the perpetrator. And studies show one in 10 Americans who are ages 60 and older have experienced some form of abuse. This is unacceptable, and these issues are very close to my heart, as many of you know. I planned to invite Lynn Smith here to the council to speak about this upcoming Elder March, but our budget hearing schedule next week has precluded it. All Brockton residents are invited to join this March Against Elder Abuse on Wednesday, June 14th, beginning at 12 noon at the Council on Aging. The more participants who march, the more a spotlight will shine on the very important issue of abuse of elders. I'm grateful to Old Colony Elder Services and the Brockton Council on Aging for holding this event. So let me recap. On Wednesday, June 14th, rain or shine, beginning mm -hmm. at high noon at the Council on Aging, please join the March Against Elder Abuse. Thank you. And I have one other thing, Mr. President. Go right ahead, Council. Okay. Mark your calendars sure. and plan to attend the second Ward 4 meeting of 2018. It will be held from 6.30 until 8 on Wednesday, June 13th in the cafeteria at the Gilmore Elementary School on Clinton Street. I'm still working on my meetings presentations, but I'm hoping for a big turnout to talk about what's going on in Ward 4 and also in the city of Brockton. You don't have to live in Ward 4 to attend. All Brockton residents are welcome at the second Ward 4 meeting of the year on Wednesday, June 13th, from 6.30 until 8 o'clock in the cafeteria at the Gilmore Elementary School. Call me with questions or comments at 508-941-0108. Please join us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor. Um, just sh go right ahead, Councilor uh, Rodriguez. Councilor Castro, you said it was June 14th. I said um, the, 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 the March. is the 14th, and my meeting. Wednesday. What? The, the 14th is Thursday. My, the March is Thursday, June 14th. I apologize. Thursday, June 14th. And the Ward 4 meeting is Wednesday, June 13th. So I'm going to have a busy couple of days. Okay. Um, the Council March is, is at high noon. Excuse me. Sure. And my Ward meeting is from 6.30 until 8. Okay, Councilors. Just before we proceed, because next week we will start with the budget hearings, uh, which will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, June 4th, 5th, and 6th, 6.30 p.m. The first night uh, we'll spend uh, a, a little bit just hearing from the mayor and, and Mr. Condon. They'll start off at, uh, at 6.30, and then we'll go right into the hearings. And Tuesday, 6.30, Wednesday, um, we will have a public hearing from 6 o'clock till 6.30, whatever it takes for anybody that wishes to address 
um, us uh, at the public hearings in regards to the next uh, fiscal year's budget. So that'll be Wednesday night, and then we'll go into, into the hearing. So again, all meetings will be held at the War Memorial Building. Um, just keep in mind with your calendar um, for whatever and however we end up with the hearings, probably do like we did last year, is probably have our finance meeting as we would have, and, and, and pre pre I guess probably uh, at that point take any proposals for anything that has to be you know, uh, decrease from the budget or whatever, any budget cuts at that time, and then make sure we move it on in time for our fi final council meeting at the end of June so that we'll have it in time for fiscal year um, July 1st. If anything changes that date, I'll let you know. Um, but in any case, that's what we'll be um, starting next week. You should have already received a, um, an agenda for that. Should have been through email. If not, I have a hard copy here. I'm not to say something could change. Um, and if it does, I'll make sure you get a copy, you know, before the next, uh, before our next meeting. So, uh, again, next week we start at the War Memorial Building, um, and we'll uh, take it from that point. Council Clerk, uh, Mr. Clerk. You may want to let them know that you advertise this budget three times. Okay. Plus the website, plus the sort of bulletin board. Okay. Asking anyone that has any interest in speaking at that. So, so everything uh, the clerk has told me, everything has been advertised. Um, uh, it's been on the website. It's on the bulletin board. Everything's, um, and I believe we've advertised for the public hearing, which will be in the newspaper. Uh, you and I discussed that last week. So everything has been uh, advertised. I just want to make sure, as well, Mr. Clerk, that everything's corrected. That we are at the War Memorial Building, um, and we may want to just change that piece when you when I see you bring up the website. It says that city council meetings are being held here. You know, until further notice, that's not going to be true anymore. We're going to be at the Wall Memorial Building. Yeah, we have to get to webmaster to, to do that. that. Okay, so we'll make sure that that transpires. But as long as we're in, we're moving forward with what we have to do for the hearings and and, uh, and for the uh, for the next council meetings. Thank you, Councilor Isaac. A moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may. Um, I would like to recognize the Angelo School's principal, Mrs. Andrade Serpa, and her team and the Angelo uh, music teacher, Mrs. Muscardelli, and the Angelo PTA. This evening, they held a unity concert right here at Brockton High School in the auditorium, and they truly packed the house. I haven't seen this auditorium packed from one school, in a, um, this packed in a long time. So I really congratulate them on uh, bringing the community together. They've done an amazing job, so I just wanted to recognize them. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Any other? Councilor Cruz. I, just, I meant to do this at the beginning of the meeting. I'd like to ask for a moment of silence. Yes. Uh, City of Brockton lost a longtime public servant, and, and the fire department lost one of its most oh. popular members uh, recently. Former Deputy Chief uh, Ward Gordon, who uh, retired over 20 years ago in 1996, passed away this past week. And uh, I believe his wake was tonight. I'm not even sure. I but, believe it uh, was. Uh, he was a great guy and a great leader of the men at the fire department. I'd like to ask for a brief, sure. brief moment of silence. Definitely a moment of silence for him. May he rest in peace. Nice guy, too. Real nice guy. Council Sullivan. Yes, you may. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that participated in the parade yesterday. A really uh, good thing for the city of Brockton and Dave Farrell and his endeavors as well. Um, but a point of information, um, I, I, I spoke a couple times in this chamber about the Little Red Schoolhouse and the condition and what deplorable condition it is. Um, and a lot of us were up there recently judging. Uh, and I spoke to the mayor that day and I've spoken to the superintendent of the s schools as well. Uh, and with the budget starting next week, I just wanted to report back to my colleagues. I, I did have a conversation again with Mayor Carpenter after the parade. Uh, he has asked to have a sit down with, with the president, myself, Mr. Kassiri, and people from the school. Um, to figure out exactly how we can prepare um, and, and prevent further damage uh, that's being done at that historic building. And as I explained, you know, it sits at the legal entrance to Brockton High School, 470 Forest Ave. So just wanted to let you know about that. It is being done. And then also I wanted to share, and I'm going to kind of steal Ann Beauregard here, where she likes to give some information. Um, you may know that I, I, I'm an advocate for the Brockton Historical Society. Uh, I go up there all the time, as I know Shirley and a lot of you go up there. Um, recently, I took my kids up there and I got a tour. Kyle Landholm gave us a wonderful tour. Um, and I put it on Facebook. And as a result of that, attorney Jessica Wainwright of the Wainwright family contacted me and asked to, uh, to speak to someone about giving some family donations uh, to the Historic Society. I spoke to Mr. Landholm at the Huntington School mm. Parade the other day, and he said that the, the, that the, uh, the family actually did donate. Um, and if anybody uh, in the city of Brockton or outside the city of Brockton uh, has anything that they think of as historic value for the city of Brockton, um, 
they are ready, willing, and able to sit down. You can reach out to Mr. Lannerholm, you can reach out to me, uh, or any of us on the council, but I, I think it's, um, it shows that people care about the history of Brockton, but also uh, it's preventing people from throwing away stuff that can be preserved. So that was a good story. I want to thank Attorney Wainwright, and, uh, and I just wanted to pass that along. Thank you, Councilor. No, I think that's a great idea. Any, anybody else? Any other business to come before us this evening? Seeing none? My team did win. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. <laughs> Great coaching job. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>